What's going on, Xanniverse? It's your boy Xander Wayne here, the Dreadlock Nerd. Here with some fresh Dreadlock Nerd Talk news. Um, I don't know if you guys have been aware, but details have been released on the upcoming Justice League trailer getting ready to be released at San Diego Comic Con. And as the title of this video suggests, we could be getting a shot of Superman in a black suit. I will not read the article. The link for the article will be in the description box below. It is from ScreenGeek.net. But basically, it alludes that in the trailer, the last few seconds of the trailer, Bruce Wayne Batman will come into direct contact with a newly revived Superman in a black suit. <laughs> now, we I know a lot of us have been wondering when we were actually going to get a shot of Superman in the Justice League trailer. And I know a great deal of us as well have been wondering whether we were going to get the Superman that we've seen in the comics in the Death of Superman storyline. The black Superman suit, mullet hair, full beard, straight, rugged. Now, I am going to take, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this story as a, with a small grain of salt because we can very well be getting that. And if we do, it's going to be off the hook. Um, but what I kind of wanted to talk about was what I what I'm what I'm wondering they're going to do with Superman. Um, uh, just a, just a small little spoiler in the article. It does say that um, there is a um, there is a chance that um, the Superman that comes back will actually be you know, evil, I guess, kind of. Um, the scene describes that Superman, I mean, that Batman rides out to a destroyed ship, and before, I guess, he can approach the ship, Superman lands in front of him in the black suit, mullet hair, full beard, and his eyes are red. And behind him, well, I think in the air, it's just raining ash, and then Batman has his look of, oh, crap, on his face. Now, I... Again, taking this thing with a small grain of salt, a small grain of salt, but it could very well go down that way. But it just makes me wonder what exactly is the direction that they're going to be taking Superman in with the, him coming back in Justice League. Um, I was going to do a pitch video a while back on what, on how I would want Superman to come back moving forward in the Justice League. Um, as of right now, he is dead for the most part, which is not exactly the case. And since the ending of Man since the ending of Batman v Superman is loosely based on the death of Superman storyline, him getting, being killed by Doomsday and him killing him killing Doomsday in return. I I wondered how they were gonna do this. Now and initially I just figured he was just gonna come back to life, you know, and they're just gonna go on their merry way, saving the day as the Justice League. But over time I started to think to myself you know, how exactly are they going to do this? <laughs> if you guys are an avid comic book reader like I am, then or if you just pay attention to comic book related stuff, then you know that in the Death of Superman storyline, Superman didn't come back right away. We had four iterations, or four, I guess the best way to put it would be four representations of Superman. We had the cyborg Superman, Hank Henshu, or Henshaw, whatever, they, they change it up every single time, who was essentially a bad guy. You have the Eradicator, who was a basically, a, I believe, a Kryptonian artificial intelligence created to, I believe, restore Krypton or Kryptonians to their natural goal. i got to go back and read it again. There, of course, is the Teen of Steel Superboy, who was, supposed, who was said to be a younger clone of Superman. And then, of course, you have John, Mer John Henry Irons, who became the man known as Steel, who used technology and his engineering expertise, created a suit for himself, and decided to carry on Superman's legacy in his absence. And no, I am not talking about that crappy-ass Shaquille O'Neal movie that we got years ago. So, all that being said, I know they can tackle every single iteration of those Supermen that came through. I mean, they could. I mean, they're definitely welcome to try. But I doubt that they're ever going to do that, especially with Superman coming back right in Justice League. So my idea 
what or what I would want to see or how I would want Superman to come back is I, I actually wanted to go the eradicator route. Um, Cy the Cyborg Superman isn't really him. It's just a clone. And there's been many iterations of the Cyborg Superman. Anyway, we have one on Supergirl right now, even though he looks nothing like Superman or anything like that, which I thought would have been cool. And as far as it stands, we haven't had a Cyborg. Aside from Supergirl, we haven't really had a live-action Cyborg interpretation. They didn't do it on Smallville. And... Yes, we have Supergirl ha happening right now, but that's a different story. The reason why I say the Eradicator because the Eradicator is essentially Kryptonian, and but where it really, where my pitch really stems from, where my idea really stems from, is um, if you go back to Man of Steel, you have to remember Kal-el's father, Jor-el. What's the word I want to use? He um. He trans he transferred basically, essentially, the DNA of every single Kryptonian into Kal El's bloodstream. Again, go back to Man of Steel. There's a whole scene about that. The Codex, my mistake. It's the Codex that he he stole. The Kryptonian Codex, which is which is which is which comprises of every single possible. What's the word I want to use? Every single possible. Identity, yeah, every single possible identity a Kryptonian can have when they are born. Because remember, Kryptonians were never born; they were created through the Genesis Chamber. And the Codex was a way of assigning a specific identity or life path for a Kryptonian. Kalel was born free of that choice; he was able to make his own choice as he got older. That being said, with the Codex essentially embedded in the DNA of Kalel, what's not to say that when he comes back? He's a completely different person. He's not the Kal El or Clark, or he's not Clark Kent when he comes back. He's a completely different Kryptonian. Remember, because he's on Earth, the Yellow Sun grants him the power to not only strengthen his body but regenerate. That being said, was that to say that the consciousness that was Clark Kent disappears? What if we get a completely different, you know, consciousness when he when when he's resurrected? You know, we can. And the reason why I say the Eradicator would be an interesting choice for him, or an interesting persona for him to adapt, is because of the fact that, remember, when he was born, he didn't have that in him. It was transferred to, it was transferred into him. Now that he is, quote unquote, dead and coming back to life, he literally has a clean slate. So now another Kryptonian personality is able to take form and become tangible become flesh and blood the, the the eradicator which i which is which in my opinion is one of my favorite iterations of one of the four supermen that came after superman died i like the eradicator and i wish they included him in a lot more things they actually include him in a lot more things i think in a new 52 and i think in, and he was included he was included in a significant story arc in rebirth once that started up uh, there was a great deal of him to deal with <laughs> but coinciding with the possibility that Superman might be evil when he comes back to life what's not to say that he comes back as the eradicator I, th I think that would be very interesting and they have to figure out a way to bring Clark Kent back um again that's just a small pitch that I had that was, it was a pitch that they had like uh, like if if I were making Justice League and I'm bringing Superman back I would want to do it. I would. I would do it that way. I would bring him back as the Eradicator, and have the have the newly formed Justice League figure out a way to bring Clark Kent back, or Kyle El back, as opposed to the Eradicator. Um. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be, waited with bated breath for the trailer for Justice League, as we all are. Um. The only thing I am really, really excited for is the black suit. The full beard and the mullet. We need mullet. I'm probably gonna start a hashtag. Superman. Well, no, probably super mullet. I'm probably gonna start that hashtag. We need the super mullet. We need this. We need this in life right now. But in any case, I'm very. I can't wait for the trailer. I know we're probably a couple weeks away from it. I'll be. I'll be probably waiting by the computer for it. I'll be waiting by the computer for it. But again, um, 
as I said, that's what I would have done. I would have brought Superman back as the Eradicator. I think that would have been a, I think that would have been an interesting thing to see. Because not only do we get like a small little tidbit of the, I guess the first iteration of the Reign of the Superman, but you know, it kind of wraps things up in a, it kind of it kind of brings the Kryptonian Codex back into play, which didn't get a lot of play, and that's something that that's like a loose end they could tie up. But we'll have to wait and see how it goes down. If Superman comes back and he's quote unquote evil, so to speak, or corrupted. Then we'll see how that goes. We'll have to see how that goes. But in any case, again, the article, the link for the article is in the description box below. You're welcome to read the whole thing. <clears throat> I just skimmed through it and I just saw the end. But um, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this little piece of information as, as it pertains to the Justice League trailer. Stay tuned for more Dreadlock Nerd Talk news as a gig and nerd related news comes my way. Hey, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this piece of news, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Share this video with all your friends. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.